Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Bindi was playing hide-and-seek with all of her frog friends. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ready or not, here I come! shouted Bindi. She was swimming through the water and trying to find all of her frog friends that were hiding. Uh, there! I found you! Aw, oh, man! One of the frogs had been found. And pretty soon, she swam over to the other side, and there he was! He was hiding in the grass. Aw, oh, man! Ribbit! Ribbit! Pretty soon, the game was over. She had found all of the frogs. Wow, that was such a fun game, guys. Can we play again? I don't think so, Bindi. You see, this pond is starting to dry up, and we must move on to the next one. We'll see you later. Bye. Wait, what do you mean it's starting to dry up? Bindi did not know what they were talking about. But this big pond was now much smaller she remembers it being really big and yeah it is weird that they had run out of like a lot of hiding places that they used to be able to hide but it just needed to rain some so she waited and waited but the rain never came and pretty soon the water was very shallow oh no what am i gonna do if i run out of water bindi was very nervous do fish need water? Yes, you're right. Fish need water. Why? Yes, to keep their skin wet. That's helpful so they don't dry out. But also, it's how they breathe. You know, we, like people, me and you, we have lungs. <gasps> and we breathe air, right? Do we breathe water? No. No. Air has oxygen in it that our lungs are made to breathe. <sighs> and fish, they have gills, right? Yes, those gills. Did you know that there's oxygen in water? And that's what the gills are for. The gills are made to, to filter out the oxygen from the water so that they can breathe the water. That's why water is really important to fish. Like really good healthy water has oxygen for fish. But if this pond runs out of water, what is Bindi going to do? Bindi started swimming all over the place, but it was getting very small. Very small. She was definitely running out of water. It was barely covering the top of her head. You see Australian lungfish? They're very, they're long, kind of like an eel. And they have a very big tail and two big flippers kind of look like hands actually for walking it's a pretty interesting looking creature and this lungfish bindi she didn't know what to do she had never left the water before but she's about to find out something pretty amazing about her body oh no this is terrible wait look who she popped her head out of the water and she started looking and i think there's a pond over there Oh boy, do you think I can jump all the way there? Well, that pond was 
way too far to jump. But Bindi, she, <laughs> she always liked to try things, even if it didn't work. So she was going to try. Try her best. One, two, three. She paddled her tail as fast as she could, got a running start, and blasted out of the water. I'm going to do it. I can fly. Whoa. Oof. She could not fly. That is something that lungfish cannot do. But there is something that they can. <gasps> I'm going to die. I need to get back to the water. As Bindi started to crawl back to her pond, this was the first time that she had jumped out of that pond. She realized something. Wait. <sighs> <sighs> Wait a second. I can breathe. Hey, frogs, look at this. She couldn't believe it as the frogs were jumping past her. She was crawling alongside of them. How in the world are you doing that, Bindi? I've never seen a fish out of the water before. Ribbit, ribbit. I don't know either, said Bindi. But I, I think I'm actually breathing the air. It's working. I think I can make it all the way to that pond over there. As Bindi began to crawl with her flippers across the land, she was trying to make it to that other pond. But unfortunately, the sun was very high in the sky. Oh, wow, is it hot. Hooey! I could really go for a nice glass of lemonade, said Bindi. As she tried to crawl, it felt like it was taking forever. As the sun was beating down on her, it was very hot. And all of a sudden, wait a second, what's happening to my skin? Oh, gross. There's like slime all over the place. Bindi was trying to crawl her way to that pond, but suddenly slime started pouring out of her skin. She had never seen this happen before. What's going on? Bindi was shouting. Frogs, help me! Ribbit, that's pretty disgusting. We're no I'm sorry, we cannot touch that. Ribbit. The frogs hopped away. She was turning into a ginormous slime ball. What in the world is going on with Bindi the lungfish? Oh dear. She is turning into quite a mess, and is she going to make it all the way to the pond in time before the sun dries her out? And what in the world is this slime ball mess all over her? Did she somehow get poisoned? Is she sick? I don't know. I'm very worried about Bindi, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, but what in the world is going on with Bindi? Yes, Australian lungfish, they're pretty amazing creatures. They can breathe both water and air, just like Bindi has figured out for the very first time. I'm going to have to check and see what in the world is going on with this slime ball mess that's all over her, because that's absolutely disgusting. I like to play with slime on the table, but... Not all over my body. Do you guys like to play with slime? If you could make slime today, what color would you make it? Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day. And I will see you on our next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Bye. Bye.